Je ne sais pas si tu es là. 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 This is actually extremely important. And the reason it is important is like in the Tibetan saying, one god or one deity suffices for an Indian, a hundred deities ruin the Tibetans. So in India, one deity was enough, but a hundred deities are too many, they ruin uh, the Tibetans. And the reason for this is that uh, in Tibet, there are many deities. Uh, there are all of the deities of the secret mantra of Vajrayana that came in the old and the new trans, uh, transmissions of the Vajrayana. There are many different gods. Likewise, there in the Terama tradition, there are many deities that have arisen uh, through the pure perception, or many deities that come from the pure perception, uh, and there are just too many gods. There are too many deities. Uh, and people forget the instruction that uh, if you accomplish one deity, then you've accomplished all of the deities. And so we then lose the other deities. It's like we think of them all as being like individual people. We practice Chen Rizik and we think that Chen Rizik is just like one person, one deity that we're uh, accomplishing. Or we get the empowerment of Manjushri and we hear that Manjushri has these particular benefits and we think, oh, that's great. I don't need to practice any other god. Or, uh, and uh, then you lose all of the other uh, uh, deities. And so I think these days it's uh, like that for many people, especially for people who are new to the secret mantra Vajrayana. I think, it's, uh, uh, I think this often happens. They think about the benefits of each deity. They hear about the benefits of Manjushri at the empowerment and they think, I don't need any other deity than this. Or they hear about Avalokiteshvara and they say, oh, uh, Chenrezig, uh, Avalokiteshvara is the best. I don't need anyone else. This sort of thought just naturally or uh, just naturally occurs. And this happens when, and this is because we sort of think that when we are accomplishing Manjushri, for example, we're accomplishing a single person or a single deity. I have to borrow another five minutes from you. Actually, if, if each of you would give me five minutes, how many minutes would I get? Would I get? I'd get thousands of minutes. Uh, Actually, uh, in the past few days, we've had many different empowerments. We, there are the 24 peaceful deities in the Knowing One Frees All. And so people have been asking, how can we practice them all? I can't possibly do all of them. What should we do to practice? だれ見せ、皆さん、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
whichever one you have the most longing for in your mind, whether you previously had that feeling of longing or whether perhaps during the empowerment you had a special feeling of devotion uh, that occurred. So whichever deity that is, you should practice that uh, deity. It's fine to only practice one deity. Uh, you can't practice all of the deities together and it's not necessary either. 이는 냉가 지식과 안에 가르쳐서 저도 고도시원 해서 아주 이름 자체 루데아 인디비주얼로 이제 가사지 루데아만 해주면 이마 따디 초주의 경화 탐지기 가르쳐야 되지 초주의 경화 탐지 빼는 민들지 빼는 두지 빼는 숙부 첨부적 나눠라야 빼 신나서 주셔야 나지 본부 첨부적 나눠 따지 본부 주주도 좀 아또 주셔야 나지 따디 느지기 叫我他们是女的等你你的干啥子工地干嘛呢你的干啥子工地干嘛呢你叫我他们是女的等你啊你的工地干嘛呢你的工地干嘛呢你的工地干嘛呢你的工地干嘛呢你的工地干嘛
It's easiest if first we visualize that the light goes out and brings benefit to uh, all of the second ascension beings and then visualize that it uh, makes offerings to the Buddhas uh, later. Uh, so I think that might be a little bit easier. In any case, this is a visualization of bringing the two benefits, the benefits for ourselves and for others. And it is said that uh, just doing this visualization uh, will uh, serve, uh, serve in place of accumulating the, uh, gathering the accumulations of merit and wisdom for three eons, according to, as one must do, according to the sutras of the Prajnaparamita. If we can do this visualization properly, sitting on one seat in one cushion, in cushion we can gather the accumulations of merit that would otherwise take uh, three eons. But if we don't know how to do the visualization, then we've been wandering in samsara from beginningless time, uh, from beginningless time, and we're still going to have to keep wandering. Yeah. 
，聚花月，贤劫千佛殊胜功德日，善恶行成一万兆倍。佛教慈悲置业，东山吉祥书方，药师佛祈福法会，恭请诺诺格西主法。日期五月三十日，星期二，上午九点半开始。联络电话：零三九五八零二八六，零三九五八零二八六，零三九五四零四五五，零三九五四零四五五。地点：佛教慈悲置业，东山吉祥书方，宜兰县东山乡东山路二段四百七十八号。聚花月《聚华月阿弥陀佛殊胜功德日，善恶行成一百万兆倍，慈悲置业高雄分会东山书方，梁皇宝忏圆满日暨蒙山施食。恭请战山法师、湛江法师、湛同法师共同主法。日期：六月四日，星期日。时间：上午九点。地点：高雄分会中山书方，高雄市新兴区中山二路四百七十二号七楼。查询电话：零七二二一二三二三。敬邀菩萨参与熏习，同瞻法义，共沐佛恩。配合防疫措施，参加共修，敬请佩戴口罩。法会直播，请搜寻脸书“佛教中山书方”。佛学常识，僧鞋。不知道大家有没有注意到，出家人的鞋子上有六个洞？为什么出家人鞋子上要有洞呢？是为了比较凉爽吗？还是为了透气呢？都不是。出家人的鞋子上要有洞，代表低头看得破。我们头一低，看到有鞋子上有洞，但是。做人处事何尝不是如此呢？要学着谦卑低头，而且呢，看破。就是说，出家人的鞋子有它的法力，让我们能够学着低头，学着看破。那进一步，六个洞代表六波罗蜜。为什么不是坐在衣服上，而要坐在鞋子上？代表六波罗蜜的修行是要用脚。去实践它，是要去实行它。所以出家人的鞋子，我们一看到六个洞，就要反省自己：我们有没有在力行、在实践六波罗蜜呢？我们有没有慢慢的透过六波罗蜜而迈向成佛之道？这就是真实的代表意义。接下来，请收看《善知识法语》。讲共康处仁波切罗卓太爷是公认的伟大上师。一八一三年葬礼十月初十，诞生在西藏一个叫龙家的山谷。仁波切精通十种共鸣和圣意的知识
，并负起解说撰写法本的责任。其内容包含许多新旧密续的法教，例如口传、言藏以及静观等传承的教法，这些全收集在他的《五宝藏》里。通楚仁波切受了一百三十五位以上不同传承上师的教法后，与清哲、丘宁仁波切。共同发起西藏佛教利美无分教派运动，如同第二佛班，他以其毕生所建立的教法、修行和事业，无分别的延续了各大传承的法脉，开启了聚义的大门，直接间接的利益了各方的众生。仁波切于一八九九年一月十九日，以八十七岁的高龄圆寂。印度大师阿底峡尊者到西藏之前，曾随三位上师学习这个新药法门。在西藏，他的传承称为嘎当派，历史时间点上是宁玛之后的一个教派。密勒日巴的嫡传弟子冈坡巴曾在嘎当派的寺庙出家，他常将嘎当与嘎居两派的。